Hey everybody, welcome to Magician's Choice. My name's Ben, and today we're going to talk about Secrets of a Puerto Rican Gambler by Stephen Minch. You know, it wasn't that long ago that we lost Daryl, and it's his magic that fills the 171 pages in this book. Let's learn a little bit more about it from the man himself. Hello, my name is Daryl, and have I got some news for you. 35 years ago, the world of magic was a very, very different place. Secrets in those days were guarded a lot more carefully. And at the time, there was great interest in my card and close-up work because I had just had the honor of winning first prize at FISM. Stephen Minch wrote a book for me at the time that I'm honored to say has become something of a modern classic, Secrets of a Puerto Rican Gambler. Shortly afterward, he wrote the sequel, For Your Entertainment Pleasure, and these books were originally printed in what we call the old style, with very few pictures and simply saddle stapled in the middle. I was shocked to see that earlier this year, the pair sold on eBay for $600. They're nearly impossible to find these days. In fact, I only have one copy of each in my own personal library. So, fast forward to today, in collaboration with Vanishing Ink Magic, I am excited to share that all my early work is now available again in these beautiful new editions. We have shot approximately 450 new photographs and edited and updated the text with new handlings and unpublished variations. The books look gorgeous, and I'm thrilled that the next generation will have access to my work. You'll see the definitive work on my Triumph display sequence, some of my favorite sandwich routines, the mysterious Cross of India, and much much more. I'm proud to say that after more than 35 years, all of these routines have stood the test of time. What can I say? They're extremely practical and they never ever let me down. Besides that, they're a lot of fun to perform. Now you can have just as much fun performing these routines as I have. Enjoy. Simple thing, just four coins, four coins, that's all there is to it. Four go here, only four, just four, four here as well. Now here's the deal, if I cross the hands, I say go, first one jumps across, look, there's only three here, and if there's three here, there's got to be five. Now I know you didn't know what was going to come, so I'll do it again. Two, two more makes four, last one is five, only five. Three here, so far so what, but I cross the hands into the mysterious cross of India. I say go, oh, it goes again, look, there it goes. That leaves only two here, if there's two here, there's six. Count them fair, you'll find them there, because no one knows where the hobo goes when it snows. That's right, my friends, but if you got a lot of nerve and you got a lot of plenty, five will get you ten. Ten will get you twenty. That's it. Only one here. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes! Last one. Every move a picture. Watch closely. It will not be the quickness of the hand to deceive the eyes. No, no, just kidding. Ho-ho! <laughs> not till I say go. Then it goes. There's none here. Count them fair. All of them. Two, four, six, eight. That's the cross of India. Thank you. So this is the new version of the book, uh, the one put out by Vanishing Ink. The quality of this book is really, really high. It's a nice hard cover. Uh, the paper quality is really high, uh, glossy, thick paper, and the photographs are fantastic. Uh, really high quality photos here. Uh, so definitely a high quality product uh, that you might want to check out. The writing here is fantastic. Stephen Minch does a wonderful job of sharing Daryl's magic with everyone. Uh, all the explanations are very, very clear. Let me just tell you that I read the introduction uh, and I was hooked. I uh, immediately pulled into this book. I felt like I had to study it. I had to spend some time with it just reading the introduction. So uh, the writing quality is really high. The book contains 11 effects. Ten of them are with cards, one with coins. Uh, they're all really, really entertaining and really, really fun to do. Uh, some of the 
uh, effects in here are variations on previous uh, on a previously exp explained effect. Uh, Daryl likes to include uh, situational variations, so standing without a table, standing with a table, uh, completely surrounded. There's handling differences for some of the effects here uh, based on those types of scenarios. So a lot of people will tell you uh, that the Puerto Rican Triumph and the Mysterious Cross of India are the best effects in this book, and they are really, really incredible. The display sequence for the Triumph routine in here is fantastic. It's definitely something you're going to want to study. Uh, and of course, the Mysterious Cross of India is just a classic routine. Uh, but don't overlook effects like holding on and in a pinch. They're wonderful routines. I think you're really going to like them. What stands out to me in this book is the description of the details, little things like timing and misdirection and why things work the way they work or why he's included certain pauses or timing uh, features here. Uh, all that stuff is really, really good uh, and only just increases the overall value of the book. Each of the effects in here is well worth your time and study. Okay, time to wrap this up. On a scale of 1 to 5, 1 being I hate it, 5 being I absolutely love it, I give Secrets of a Puerto Rican Gambler a 5. This is a fantastic book. It's a classic at this point. It's something you need on your shelf if you do any kind of close-up work. Uh, definitely check this book out. I'll put all the appropriate links in the description box below so you can check out Secrets of a Puerto Rican Gambler for yourself. Uh, if you're interested, it's really a high quality book, fantastic magic, lots to learn here, so definitely check it out. Um, if you want to read more about the book, you can check out the written review at magicianschoice.com. Uh, and don't forget you can follow us over at Facebook and on Instagram. And that's it for me. Thank you for watching Magician's Choice, putting quality magic in your hands.